Okay, so I figured I would put a video up about the solar power system that I use uh, here at home to uh, to power my workshop um, and here you can see uh, four 100 watt panels uh, they're monocrystalline um, PV panels uh, and then one smaller 15 watt panel up on the end uh, and I'll show you what that one does here in just a minute um, while I'm out here I'll show you the batteries inside here are two 6 volt 8L16 deep cycle wet cell batteries and two 6 volt T105 wet cell deep cycle batteries um, since they're wired um, in s parallel um, well I'm sorry wired in series to produce 12 volts um, we've got 110 amp hours over here uh, no nope, I'm sorry that is 225 amp hours uh, from the T105s and 370 amp hours uh, from the 8L16s and then you can see how they're uh, fused here these are 250 amp uh, automotive fuses uh, ANL type they um, like I said are rated at 250 amps so each leg of each side of the batteries is fused um, and they're run to some marine uh, pass-throughs and then uh, you can see here these are the inputs for the solar charging um, and I'll show you those controllers here in just a second all right and inside here um, what you can see here is a control panel um, where the power from the panels uh, is brought in and distributed um, so over here on the left is the charge controller this is not an MPPT controller it's a uh, pulse width modulation PWM controller um, but it works well uh, it handles up to 400 watts at 12 volts which is what I've got um, and about 30 amps and right now you can see the panel voltage is about 15 volts the batteries are at 13.6, 13.7 which is what it displays here on the display um, I can see how much amperage is coming in from the panels right now about 14 amps um, and it's not even noon yet so that's pretty good um, if you scroll on through the menu here you can see um, I've collected 1830 amp hours since I installed uh, this controller um, and then over here is a small 750 watt 1500 watt max um, inverter this inverter I use to power most of the stuff on the workbench um, and some uh, small fans for um, keeping it cool in here. It does tend to get a little hot. Um, so you can see everything here is brought in. These are the wires. Um, this is all uh, number 10 um, outdoor landscaping wire, copper stranded uh, number 10 that brings the uh, the voltage in from the panels and up to the charge controller here um, and then out of the charge controller down the same number 10 wire and out to the batteries that are just on the other side of the wall here um, up here on the top this is a 12 volt distribution system 
um, that I use to distribute 12 volts directly from the batteries to various um, things in in here that that can use 12 volts um, and right now I've got the inverter here run into um, a 25 amp circuit then I've got a battery charger for my 18 volt cordless tools that's uh, that's also wired in uh, these two here are small 5 amp circuits for the lighting that uh, that I'll show you in just a second and then these two here are just uh, uh, one is actually running a ventilation fan that sucks the hot air out of the top of the shed and kind of helps to cool it down um, and the other is actually running this uh, this little cooler um, thermoelectric cooler so it keeps some bottled water and stuff out here um, this is a meter here that will show me all of the uh, the power consumption being used from this panel and right now you can see that I've got a 2.6 amp load uh, the battery voltage at about 13.1 um, and that's a little low because um, I'm getting some loss through the cables that actually feed this uh, this distribution system so um, it's not too bad uh, not too much loss at all really um, and then um, I'll show you the other inverter this inverter is a 2000 watt continuous 4000 watt peak inverter uh, it's 4,000 watts for five seconds to start uh, big loads like a refrigerator or something like that. Um, and it uh, it doesn't get used very much, only if I need to. Um, I can turn it on and off and use it if I have to use it. Um, but I tend not to. Um, and out here you can see uh, I do have a television. Um, that's uh, hooked up to Wi-Fi, so you can use, uh, you know, YouTube videos and stuff. Um, these are the lights that I use out here in the shed. Um, these lights are uh, just standard 110 volt, 48 inch fluorescent tubes, um, and you can turn them on. Um, of course, you can hear the fans on the inverter turn on when you do that. Um, but if you look up in here, you can see that I've wired in some 12 volt LEDs. Um, these LEDs are much more efficient and so I tend to use them a lot more. Um, I can use the LEDs and they don't produce as much light um, but it is uh, plenty of light for working here on the workbench and doing you know just about anything I need to do out here. So uh, and I've got, uh, in addition to the white lights, I've got some red LEDs that I use uh, for working at night. Um, and then the same thing on uh, this other set of lights that's up here. Um, same thing, 12 volt LEDs. There's four 48 inch strips um, inside there. Um, and they put off plenty of light. Um, I haven't had a need you know for really anything else up there you can see the uh, the 12 volt fan um, that uh, that helps keep it cool in here um, and that's about it uh, the other panel that was up on the roof um, is actually run into this charge controller and this charge controller here its sole purpose is to power this uh, this ham radio um, box there are two uh, 14 amp hour batteries in this box that uh, that power that radio um, so you know it uh, it doesn't need a whole lot of charging current in order to charge it um, but uh, but it works and it does rather well um, I haven't uh, haven't ever had to use AC power um, which I can um, with the addition of this uh, power supply here. I can use the uh, AC if I need it 
Um, and of course, this box has got some other little stuff, uh, some USB charging, uh, 12 volt cigarette lighter plug. Um, so it uh, it works well for what I need. Uh, but all in all, that's about it uh, for the solar panels here. Like I said, it's a 400 watt system um, with about 600 amp hours of storage capacity. Um, and these uh, these 400 watt panels on uh, on an overcast day. Actually, today it's overcast, um, and it's still pulling in, you know, anywhere from 10 to 15 amps. So that's uh, that's pretty respectable. And one more thing to mention here: um, what you can see here are two 250 amp circuit breakers. Um, these are 12 volt automotive circuit breakers that you can uh, disconnect the batteries completely um, the entire load from the batteries from inside the workshop so you don't have to run outside uh, and disconnect anything so that's an added safety feature um, that we built in so for now um, that's it if you have any questions um, please feel free to comment and um, we'll see you later.